Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to make some gold effect in Adobe Illustrator. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right guys, so let me show you how to make something gold in Illustrator. First of all, you do have to create a gold gradient and that's pretty much it. Actually, if you create a gold gradient, then you can just apply the gradient color to objects or text. So now I'm going to show you how to create a gold gradient. Um, there are a lot of ways to do it. I mean, the easiest one is to search an image with gold color, or you can just simply go to any stock free image site or I mean, any image site. My favorite is unsplash.com. So yeah, I got this image from unsplash and then create a couple of shapes to uh, sample the color and you will be using the eyedropper tool, obviously. So if you don't know how to use the eyedropper tool, I do have a tutorial showing you how to do that. Feel free to find the link in the description below. Okay, so uh, I created like four squares and I want to sample four colors more or less. Let's see how it goes. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so select the first shape and then use the eyedropper tool. You can use the shortcut I and then simply click on the image to sample a color. Usually we want to sample color with some contrast. So I'm going to select this uh, really light yellow and then switch back to the selection tool, select the second shape and switch back to the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to select a darker color or oh, maybe that's too dark, that's fine and just keep selecting color. I mean, you can always go back to uh, edit the color later on, but yeah, just try to get colors that has a little bit of contrast. And then we always want to select a color that's a little bit like brownish red, something like that, it should be fine. I know like it doesn't look gold at all, but you will see how it looks. Now we are going to make a gradient, so. If you don't know how to use a gradient tool in Illustrator, I also have a tutorial showing you how to do that. So yeah, if you're interested, you can find the link in the description below as well. All right, so I'm selecting the shape and then, okay, let's open the gradient panel from window and gradient. I'm just going to drag it here. I'm going to choose the linear gradient, the classic one, and let's sample the color. All right, now we'll select the gradient tool and then we can start sampling the colors. Okay, so the first color I'm going to sample is actually this color. And then you can add a point anywhere in between and then again, sample the next color. We can already see the gradient effect here. Or this one, it's up to you. And you can add another color here, maybe the lighter one. And the last one is usually the darker one. So as you can see, this is like a kind of a golden effect. You can always adjust the area or you can also add more uh, color stop to it. It's really up to you. It looks pretty good. You can also adjust the area a little bit. And that's it. Actually, you just created a gold gradient. And now let's take a look at how to apply this gradient to your shape. Okay, as you can see, I already dragged the gradient color we just created and I created a heart. If you want to learn how to make a heart in Illustrator, you can check out my video or step-by-step -step guide and uh, I will add the link in the description below. So go ahead and select any shape. In this case, I created a heart. Okay, so simply select the shape and then use the eyedropper tool to select the gradient and that's it. You have made this heart like a golden heart. And if you want to adjust the gradient area a little bit, you can go to edit gradient and then uh, simply just uh, move around the area. Or if you want to add any more stop, you can add more uh, gradient or you can add more color to it. That's pretty cool, right? Or you can also uh, change orientation a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And it works the same with text. So if you want to create gradient text, I know if you choose the gradient color, it's not going to apply. I mean, if you have live text, in this case, I know it's not going to apply the gradient. There are two ways to do it. You can create an outline and then select the gradient. Or if you don't want to create a text outline, you can open the appearance panel from window, appearance. And here you can add a new fill and then the fill color, you can choose the gold gradient. 
So yeah, it works like that. And same thing, if you want to adjust the gradient area, select the gradient tool and you can move around the slider to add color, to adjust the area or yeah, it's really up to you, however you want to make your gradient. So is that it? Is it that simple? Yeah, it's pretty simple if you want to create simply like a gold gradient effect like this. And uh, otherwise, I do have other ways to make it look a little bit fancier. So actually, um, you can make kind of 3D gold effect as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let's say we have this text. Okay, and now let's open the 3D panel, go to window and open the 3D and materials. And as you can see in the materials tab, you will find this gold effect already, so you can click on that. Well, actually, you will have to choose uh, inflate first. And yeah, you do see a gold effect like that. I'm not sure if that's what you want. Here, when you choose the materials, you can also uh, kind of adjust the settings here a little bit. So yeah, you can adjust the settings to get a gold effect that you want and change lighting as well. Yeah, there are a lot of settings that you can do. And then once you are happy with how it looks, you can go to a uh, render with ray tracing and you'll get a gold effect like this as well. So if that's what you want, there's one way to go with it. If you don't want to choose any materials, you can also just uh, add the metallic level and then change the lighting. It can also create kind of a gold effect, but you really need to choose a color that looks kind of like golden. Mm, maybe this color. And yeah, change a metallic uh, level and the lighting is basically if that's your case. And at the end, you can click uh, render with ray tracing and it also create kind of a gold effect. However, I do like it better with the, the material selected. Gold natural as well is another type of gold effect that you can choose. Same thing, you can apply it on the shape as well. So simply select the shape and choose a gold material. I like this one actually. And then uh, go to inflate, I mean choose inflate. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's like a balloon and uh, yeah, I'll go back to the materials and adjust the settings a little bit more. Or this one as well. And just render it, uh, choose render with ray tracing. If you want, you can also add a shadow to it as well. All right, that looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, so. If you want to learn more about how to create a gold gradient or how to add gold effect to text, I do have a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to do that. And I will definitely have the link in the description below. So feel free to check that out. It's super fun, right? You can add this gold effect to text or to your object. Um, so the easiest way is to use a gradient tool to create a gold gradient. And if you want to make it a little bit more realistic, you can use the 3D effects to make like a 3D golden text effect. All right, so if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.